Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Those of you that follow my channel know that several years ago I had a video series called Lightroom Questions and Answers. I haven't done any videos in that series in a long time. Today I want to do this single video and answer some of the more common questions I've been receiving recently about Lightroom Classic. Four of the questions are brand new. I've never answered them in a past video. One of the questions is the most common question I get regarding Lightroom Classic, and I have answered this question in the past, but I'm going to answer it again in this video. I am going to save that question for last. Okay, this first question pertains to those of you that use Lightroom Classic on a laptop with a trackpad or on a Mac computer with a magic mouse. You may have found that if you're in the library module of Lightroom, that if you accidentally brush across that magic mouse or that trackpad, that you'll just quickly scroll through images. There is a setting that controls this and you could turn it off. To get to it, go to Lightroom Preferences. Preferences on a Mac computer is under the Lightroom Classic menu. On a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Once you open Preferences, go to the tab at the top called Interface. Then down here, this checkbox, Swipe Between Images Using Mouse Slash Trackpad. By default, that will be checked on. Just uncheck it. Then. When you're in the library module, I know you can't see me, but I'm swiping on my magic mouse. Nothing will happen. You'll stay on the image. So that's a setting you could turn off to take care of that issue. That's question number one. Question number two uh, has to do with those of you that shoot JPEG and RAW. Um, by default, when you shoot JPEG and RAW and put that memory card in your computer and import the images into Lightroom, Lightroom will only import the RAW images. It will not import the JPEG images. Well, there is a setting in preferences for that as well. So again, go to Lightroom Preferences. This time, go to the first tab, the General tab, and right here, treat JPEG files next to RAW files as separate photos. I know that's not very clear, but if you have this checked on, when you do import images from a memory card that has both JPEG and RAW images, it will then import both of them at the same time. So you just check that, make sure that's turned on. By default, it has that off. So just make sure that that is on and you'll be all set. This next question actually isn't a common question. I only received it once, but I thought it was an interesting question and I'd answer it here just in case anyone ever encounters this issue. Someone emailed me and said that they didn't really want to use Lightroom anymore because when they had Lightroom open, but they weren't doing anything, they could have been away from their computer, their computer was just chugging away, like Lightroom was using all these resources. And they really didn't like that because the fans were kicking on and everything else. Well, after several emails back and forth, we found out what the issue was. They had this uh, checked, replace embedded previews with standard previews during idle time. If you check that, what will happen is, in the background, even when you're not using Lightroom, Lightroom's open though, it will be creating uh, standard previews from the embedded previews of the raw files. Um, that takes up a lot of resources. So just make sure this is off if you have that issue. Um, you know, your computer's chugging away when you're not using Lightroom. That may be the problem. Okay, the fourth question is one that, uh, for some reason, I've been receiving a lot lately. It seems like questions come in bunches. I won't a question about a subject for a long time, then I'll get that question all at once from several different people. And this is one of those questions. Specifically, by default, if Lightroom senses that a memory card is plugged into your system, it will automatically open the import dialog. A lot of people don't want it to do that. They want to open the import dialog when they want to open the import dialog. Well, again, that's another setting in preferences. That's why I left the preferences window open. It's right here at the top. Show import dialog when a memory card is detected. Just uncheck that and that will take care of that issue. All right, so those are four of the five common questions I've been receiving recently about Lightroom. This fifth, fifth question is one I receive all the time, like once a week, and I'm probably underestimating that. Might be even more. If you ever have an image in Lightroom, you're in the develop module, and you see either red or blue on the image, that means you have the clipping indicators turned on. And the way you probably accidentally turned on the clipping indicators is by hitting the J key on your computer. See, when I hit the J key, this blue appeared on the image. I'll hit the J key again, and it goes away. 
Those are the clipping indicators, and they're located here on the histogram. You can see this one over here if I hover over it. That's the clipping indicator for the shadows. And when you're clipping the shadows, that means they're just crushed. It's absolute black. You'll be able to see it by turning those on by either clicking on this little triangle or hitting the J key. And when I clicked on that little triangle, you would see I'm seeing where I'm crushing the shadows. And if I go to the basic tab and I go to, let's say, shadows and I bring them down even more, you can see how I'm adding more blue to the screen. I'm crushing the shadows even more. So that's the blue indicator. Well, what about the red? Well, the red has to do with the highlights. And that is when you're like blowing out the highlights. So let's go to this other triangle on the far right side of the histogram. Turn that on. Now, I don't see any red on this image, but I'm sure if I go to highlights and I pop that up, look, we got some red there now. Go to whites too. So if you see red and blue on your image, all you need to do is hit the J key and it will go away. Hit the J key again and it will come back. And that's probably how you did it. You probably accidentally uh, tapped on the J key on your computer without realizing it and turned on the clipping indicators. And the thing about these clipping indicators, I should add, is when they're on, they're on for every image. So if you go from image to image, that's probably, there you see some blue on that one. Um, here, let's even go to another one. Let's go to a brighter one if I could get the, here. See, here, here, here we go. Clipping, see how you go from image to image and they'll stay on. They'll stay on till you turn them off. So hit that J key again. So that's it for Lightroom questions and answers. Uh, again, this is a one-off. I'm not going to revive the series or anything, but every now and then, if I find that I'm getting some unique questions about Lightroom, I'll do a video and answer them. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.